Good morning everyone. Happy weekend. How are you doing? You see, um, this morning there is this shocking news that came up. Everybody is crying about um, Black Panther actor, the boss man and all that. It's it's painful, yes. At that young age he passed away. It's not something that we should be happy about. The whole world is in pain how the young man died. But I was, I tried to read about his story this morning and I got to find out that he has been on cancer for like five years now. He has been sick for the past five years. Or there about. But let me ask this question. When did he then act one of the biggest and the movies, Black Panther and the blockbuster or something? That should be like two, three years ago. That simply means he was sick. He was battling, fighting with cancer. All this while. See, we, we, we are after what he was creating. Why? Yes, he was actually after the impact. We never knew that his inner self was dying. That right inside of him, he was passing through a lot. See, I, I'm just trying to like carve out a very short something here. In life, okay, why, let me even ask a question. Why is everyone crying now? Why is everybody so much in pain? How did we get to know him? How did we get... That, does, does that mean other people didn't die the same moment he died? If he died today, being 28th of August, that simply means other people, billions and millions of which we don't know, thousands of we don't know their locations, died same moment, same minute, same second he died. Why didn't we hear about them? We were able to hear about him because he created an impact. Because he leaves a legacy that all of us knew about. Because he created this irreplaceable and unimaginable impact by the movies he created. He acted. The most people are told me that while battling and fighting with cancer, he was there creating values. He was there creating what we. we are, how many of us even knew he was battling with um, a cancer or something? colon cancer, whatever they call it. I, I had to, this morning, take my time to learn what to what I was like, when I had colon cancer, I was like, if this actually killed him, I was like, let me dig out, and I searched. I googled what colon cancer was all about. I got to find out, deep down inside of me, he was passing through a lot. At the same time, he was creating values. He was creating impact. He was making a difference. That is why all of us were able to know about him. You see, most of us giving excuses. You are healthy. You are strong, you think you can't create something for the society. You are looking for what government will do for you. You are looking for you are looking for excuse. To me, I believe it that people who give who give excuse for not doing something is simply because they don't want to do it. If you want to do it, you must create and you must find an alternative. You must find a reason to do that. If you want to create value, if I ask you to do something, it's the only way you don't want to do it that you start giving reasons. If you want to do it, you want to do it. Despite what your reasons, your downfalls, your shortcomings have got to be. He died. We are all crying. We are all clamoring. Just this morning, his families were around him. They knew the pains. Even with his, the cancer he had been battling with, he still stood his ground. He never quit. He never quit. He was still there, creating impact. His inner self was dying. He didn't, because of that, give excuse not to create what he wanted to create. Despite the cancer, he's battling with cancer. He was on surgery. He was on lots of things, facing the Lord. Maybe he knew he was not going to live long. Or he created an impact. His inner self was dying. You see, when you see some people, some celebrities, you want to be like them. And I see some people, you see some people, you don't even know what they, you want to be like them because they've got money, they wear good clothes. Deep down inside of them, you think they are happy. They are putting on good clothes, they are on chains, they are necklaces, they are putting on expensive clothes, jewelry, sneakers, shoes, with Lamborghini, with Ferrari, with big, big, big cars and all that. Then you think, yes. You say same people, I want to be like them, I want to be like them and all that. But you don't know what they are passing through, their inner self. 
is going down. Then you are strong. You are housing, you are excellently healthy. Please don't give yourself some credit. You are 95% healthy. You are looking for excuses. You've not been able to create impact because you don't know when your when it's gonna be. What I'm trying to drive out from this today is despite his shortcomings, despite his sickness, despite the cancer, despite the sickness, despite what he was battling with, he created an impact. We never knew his inner self. We never knew what he was passing through right inside of him. Maybe he knew he wasn't gonna stay longer, but he created something. Yesterday I, I was on the news I heard in Nigeria here in Lagos or something at Oakwood I was there was a helicopter crash or something. There were two casualties and all that. Come to think of it, even that they didn't plan it. They didn't know it was gonna be yesterday. They never knew. It's a different ball game. But we have the opportunity to create an impact. Do it. Stop giving excuses. Stop procrastinating. Don't let that fear eat you. Create what you think you want to create. Don't let excuses and procrastination and fear take you down without making an impact. He is dead. The old man here is the actor of what, uh, Black, Black Panther, Blockbuster, and all that. The world is crying and all that. Why did I ask before? How did we know about him? Because he created an impact. What the whole world sees, what everybody knows about. That's why we're able to know. I asked, does that mean lots of people didn't die today? Billions of people died, today, which we don't know. But we didn't hear about them. But we're able to hear about them because it created an impact. Create an impact. Create value. Create something that tomorrow the whole world is going to see and be like, wow, he actually did something. Do it because you don't know what the next day, what the next minute is going to come up with. It's in your hands, it's in our hands. It pains a lot, I'm not happy this morning at all. He passed away. May his soul rest in perfect peace. May God give his family the fortitude to endure and to live on. But there's nothing we can do about it. If money was able to save his life, his life would have been saved. But there are some things that can be never that has gone beyond money. He pains a lot. How old was he? 10, 42 or something. But he was able to create an impact. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Please create an impact. Don't let excuses and procrastination ruin you. No one knows your inner self. No one knew. No one knew his inner self. We alone knew what he was passing through. Maybe some close friends and close families. But even at that, he was able to create what the whole world could see, could celebrate, to talk about today. You too can do that. Thank you very much. This is Mr. Richard, Tafio Richard, CEO of our affordable online stores. I run businesses, I do other things. You can see all I'm doing. I didn't plan to do them. As time goes on, most of them comes. It pains. I feel for the guy. May he still rest in perfect peace. Amen. Create an impact. Rest on, brother. Rest on. May he still rest in perfect peace. Have a great day ahead. Thank you very much.